Hey everybody, I am Nano Mango, and welcome to Brick Rigs. Now this game, it incorporates just about all of my favorite things, and I... I absolutely love this game. I initially bought this game for YouTube, and uh, I kind of got sidetracked and just played it a ton. So uh, this game is basically, essentially, you are a Lego person, and you have Lego vehicles that have a lot of the functions and uh, awesomeness of real vehicles while being destructible like Lego. So you crash your Lego car into another Lego car, they break apart, they break a lot, a, a lot easier in this game than they do in real life, but that's just half of the fun. So uh, here I am. Um, how do you, I don't remember how to do third person, so for right now, I think, nope, you don't scroll out. I don't remember, but anyway, so this is my tank that I spawned, and this is the wonderful city map. This game is so gorgeous. Like, everything uh, except for these skyscrapers pretty much is made out of Lego pieces, and you can't really get the maximum destruction. These don't break off into individual pieces. I'll show you guys in a minute. This is my tank. This does break apart into individual pieces, so I'm gonna hop in the driver's seat, and you can see that I have all sorts of controls at my disposal. I can drive it, and all the vehicles pretty much sound the same, but you can fire the main gun, which is gorgeous. So if you shoot a building enough, uh, like in this case, it crumbles into a bunch of Lego pieces, and yes, you can do it to skyscrapers, but we're not going to do it to this skyscraper yet. If you see here, there's a beautiful little elevator right on the side of the skyscraper, and I think this is the tallest... Whoops! Broke that off. Whoa! This is a pretty tall skyscraper, at least in LEGO standards. And here we go. This is an absolutely gorgeous city. Once we get to the top, we'll have a wonderful overlook of the top of this little city here. And there's a train going around. And sadly, the train is pretty much the only indestructible thing other than the terrain, which, oh well. But that does create some amazing moments where you just destroy the crap out of a vehicle. Whoa, that was a little close. Uh, with the train, uh, but yeah, so it goes underground there for a little bit and through the city there That's where I do most of my destruction is right on that train track there But As you can see we are on the highest building in the game and of course I'm gonna drive the tank off of this building. Here we go full throttle. Oh Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, we, we almost hit that building. I think oh, yeah, we did a little bit. Oh, wow almost nothing happened well you guys know what it's time for. We've got to hit that uh, train. Whoops! Can I still fire? Yes. Yes, I can. Yeah, buddy! So here comes the train in all its glory. Now, I'm going to try shooting it. It's not hitting the train at all. What the heck? Okay, here we go! Boom! Oh, man. Don't tell me I can still drive this thing. Oh, my gosh. I can still turn the turret. Okay. Yes! Wow! This tank is way more resilient than I remember, and there's me sticking out of this uh, tank here. Whoa! Okay, that was close. I'm going to try getting hit on the other side of the tank this time. This should do it, in theory. I love the amount of detail that these people put into just designing this tank. I think that this might come stock with the game, but it has like the machine guns on the front, and here comes the train. Oh my gosh! That is what we were looking for right there. So I'm going to get up and out of the seat there. Okay, whoops, I'm pushing stuff around. All right, so I'm going to teleport to this garage here, which is right near the train tracks, and I'm going to spawn another vehicle. So one thing you guys may not know about this game is that it has slow motion. So that is an amazing, amazing, uh, fun tool to use. However, it kind of lacks in some areas. So let's say your vehicle is exploding and you want to capture it in all its glory. That That's just perfectly great, right? But the problem is, did I just explode that truck? I think I did. Go. I think that truck's exploded. All right, so here we go. Here's the truck without slow motion on getting hit by the train. You ready for this? Boom. It just decimates it, right? So this is the exact same truck, okay? And the 
let's go and survey the damage while the train's approaching. Oh, dang. Yeah, see... Sometimes... Whoops. Getting out of the truck. Let's see if I can push it back. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes getting out of the truck does actually uh, break it, apparently. Getting out of a lot of vehicles is fine. Alright, so that's where I broke the truck when I got out. But the trailer, I didn't touch in this case. And it got wrecked. You can see right there, there's just hardly anything left. Now, with the slow motion, what I think happens is the physics, for some reason, doesn't want to um, collide things at the speed that they were colliding in the first place. So, um, when that happens, uh, when there's no slow motion, something rams into it and everything like glitches into each other and then it explodes into a bunch of Lego pieces and it looks fantastic. But when you go into slow motion, which I'll do right here, whoop, yeah, and then see, some of the parts were kind of sitting through each other, but then the physics are like, oh, let's be really specific right now. And then the trucks a lot of times jump when they're on the crossing, or they'll just jump when they're on flat ground, but here we go. And slowly we'll hit this train, but it shouldn't get the same amount of destruction. Yeah, see, it just kind of pushed it. And then it, and then it flew out of the way, and the truck is still attached. Now if I shut off slow motion, it'll get more destroyed. See that? But that, like, slow motion is really good for when you've already broke something. I'm going to reset the map here because it's getting full of pieces. So I'm going to select another vehicle, and we're going to have some more fun. Now this is a vehicle. This is the Batmobile, if you don't recognize it, from the Dark Knight trilogy. It is amazing. I think it has a tendency to rip itself apart, which is awesome. And I can... Enable that thruster, although I don't know that I really want to. Let's go and uh, get hit by the train. We'll knock down a couple skyscrapers in a minute, but I want to find that train and get rammed by that sucker. Oh, no! Well, it looks like I have no choice now. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, man. This is just such beautiful Lego destruction. I... There's no words for how beautiful this is. Oh, and I can still drive. Yes. Totally controllable. Now, I'm going to give a little disclaimer here. Most, actually, I, I think all of the vehicles that I'm showing you in this video, because I haven't, you know, made the whole video yet. I think all of the vehicles that I'm showing in this video, I didn't create myself. Uh, so, some of them are stock vehicles, but this one especially and... Uh, the last one are all available on the Steam Workshop. Go and check that out if you have this game. It is amazing. You don't have to do any work and you get amazing vehicles. This one in particular is, it's like three letters in the beginning. It starts with like a Z. And then it's Mobile Artillery. And this thing is crazy. I'm not going to drive it around too much because it does produce quite a bit of lag. But for now, let's go ahead and fire this cannon. I want to get to the skyscrapers, but as you can see, there's a building in the way, so we're just going to have to take care of that. Oh, that sound. Okay, here we go. Boom! Oh, man. All right, here we go. Now, I'll have you know that I'm not, you know, being crazy and totally heartless. These buildings are unoccupied. At least that's what I like to imagine. I am helping the city out with their destruction project. Uh, can we lift this up? I need to be able to drive here. There we go. Beautiful. Yes, and it took another building down with it. That's just gorgeous. All right, here we go. Boom. <laughs> the absolute destruction. It's just one. Oh, man. Taking multiple buildings down, and then we can drive over its rubble. I think one of my favorite features of this huge artillery tank is the fact that we can actually shoot our own cab off. Uh, I think we're actually warned against this in the description of the vehicle, but you know me. I've got to actually destroy everything. Here we go. <laughs> oh man, that wasn't as... That was very anticlimactic, but there we go. Let's hop out. And these actually do burn. This one, I think, just stopped burning for no reason. Thanks for that. I was trying to showcase that. Darn you. Uh, but let's go to the other scenarios real quick, or one of them. This game has uh, four, 
I think, different scenarios that you can go to. Yeah, it has four different scenarios that you can go to. And I'm going to go to the grid map. This is my favorite place to test out vehicles uh, that I don't want to destroy by train. Uh, there's only a train in one of them, otherwise they're all empty maps. So let's go here and grab another one. I have so many vehicles, I could showcase these all day. Uh, but if you want to see all of them, just let me know. But for now, I'm only going to show a few. Um, where's a fast one? Let's do the Airbus. The Airbus is a pretty fast one. Now, this game does have online multiplayer, so I always like to imagine going in and, and playing, flying this, loading some passengers up, and then just flying this thing away. This thing is so fast. Like, if you look at my speed right now, I'm going over a thousand miles an hour, and it doesn't take much damage when it crashes sometimes. Here we go. Whoa, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is just chaos. Oh, man. I think I can retract the landing gear. Yeah. Oh. I think I'm breaking it. Let's put the landing gear back out. Okay. Sure. Uh, where am I? Alright, here we go. Let's go back down. Straight down. I want to... Oh, and the fuel's running low. Crap. Come on. There we go. Straight into the ground before the fuel runs out. This looks absolutely crazy. I'm going 1,500 miles an hour. That's double the speed of sound in an Airbus. These are, uh, I think, rocket engines. Sorry for the camera shake. And there we go. We have completely exploded this thing. Where's the... Oh, there's the body. Uh, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Falling very slowly. And it's, uh, it's over there somewhere. I'll get a drag racer out for you guys. So here we go. This is the dragster. I believe this is stock. I might be wrong. Here we go. So you just floor it. And we can get up to a pretty darn good speed right here. Uh, 170, 80, 200, 250. This thing's just cruising. 325 is its max speed, and I don't think... Can we wreck it by steering? Uh, no, we actually can't. That's... Wait, yes we can! There we go! Oh, beautiful! Yeah! Oh, I destroyed a tire! Oops! <laughs> I just love crashing stuff in this game, because... You know, when when you were a kid, I don't know if you did this, but I certainly did. I would play with my, like, Star Wars stuff, and I would, uh, like, usually, if I wasn't too upset about breaking it, I would try to, uh, basically crash the ships into each other or something like that, and you have to kind of mush them together, and then the pieces will break, and you kind of got to imagine that they're flying really fast, but maybe it's a slow motion scene, you're just like... <laughs> right through each other and then like have them crash land or whatever and that was really cool but this is how to do that and still seem kind of like a grown adult there's a really fast drag racer that I'm looking for right now here we go now this is gonna sound ridiculous but it's gonna be cool so it's got a ton of rockets on it like way too many <laughs> uh, and I believe that the rockets inside are yeah they're all through each other and I believe there's a bunch more inside so I'm going to slam on this gas pedal, and it is going to be nuts. Here we go. <laughs> it sounds so ridiculous, but look at the speed. 1,500. This is about the speed that my plane was going at. Now we're at about 3,000, and we're flying by the scenery right now. We're going to fly off the map pretty soon here. Uh, we're almost at 5,000 miles an hour and just passed. I'm going to try turning. Yes, that was worth it. And there goes the vehicle. My guy right now is flying at 5,000 miles an hour. There is no salvation for this guy. If he doesn't fall off the map, he'll take a very long time to slow down. Believe it or not, there is a faster car than the Rocket Man. So let's get that car right now. Now, I'm going to start this out in slow motion. And then once I get exit slow motion, you will see how ridiculous this is. So this is 0.1 speed that's just or maybe it's 10% sorry 0.1 times is 10% my apologies but look at how fast we're going away right and we're just accelerating we're at 1500 miles an hour 
let's go out of slow motion. Boom. This, it just sounds ridiculous. We're going 5,000 miles an hour. 7,000. 8,000. 9,000. 10,000 miles an hour. 12,000. This thing just accelerates forever. And yes, we will very soon reach the edge of the map. Let's see if I can flip this. I don't think I can. I'm, I'm actually turning pretty smoothly. We're just going to reach the edge of the map. And the map is going to be gone. We're at 20, 22,000 miles an hour. And we reach the edge of the map. And now we fall forever. And th this game, it brings me so much joy. Just destroying and flying vehicles at ridiculous speeds. This is everything a LEGO game should be. And the saddest thing is that this isn't an officially licensed game. This is all just something that someone made for fun. And there's, they, they put it on Steam. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I just love that so much. These people are doing God's work. This is the ZBK cargo jet, and I love cargo planes. This one actually, uh, the back opens and closes there, and you can actually drive vehicles into it, and it has a little hook there for you to hook vehicles in. I'm not going to do that right now. I might do it in a future episode, but here we go. So you can actually drive it to taxi it, but then we're going to activate the engines right here. I'm going to get to a good view. Perfect. Now go. This thing really likes to fly. Here we go. And this thing, this this cargo jet will take uh, pretty medium-sized vehicles. Sorry, I was going to say pretty uh, big, but we've seen some pretty huge vehicles already. Uh, some medium-sized vehicles and can transport them across pretty much any size map in just a matter of moments. The only downside to this plane is the lack of fuel. We are already half out of fuel, so uh, it can go pretty far, but, you know, nowhere near the edge of the map. Now, of course, since this is uh, made out of Lego bricks, we have to crash it. Uh, unlicensed, we could just say Mega Blocks. <laughs> no, that would make this game no fun if it was Mega Blocks. And, kaboom. Here we go, come on. There we go. Beautiful. And let's hop on out. Yeah. Whoa. I was looking away from the action. Whoa! I am now falling away. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I teleported into the... Nope. So, for the last thing we're going to do for this episode, the grand finale, I have here a nuke. And, uh... It's, it's pretty cool. It's just a bunch of thrusters, and I believe their damage is set really high, so they'll damage anything within a pretty darn big radius, but we can't just set off the nuke uh, normally. We have to crash something into it, I'm sure you'd agree. So down there, you can barely see it. It's just a tiny little speck on the horizon, but that right there is a rocket truck. So here we go. Now we are in it, and this is going to be crazy. So this is based on the shockwave jet truck in real life, and this thing can get, I, I don't even know, just crazy speed. It's made for drag racing, and it is absolutely ridiculously fast. So I'm going to try my best to hit that nuke accurately and detonate the entire truck. And I'm going to do so in slow motion. That's the plan. So, here we go. Up. Oh, whoa. Okay. Slow motion for the drive up. Here we go. Oh, we're spinning out of control. Houston, we have a problem. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's switch seats. Out of slow motion. Come on. Yes. There we go. Let's go into free camera. Oh, my gosh. That just threw pieces everywhere. Oh, that is so beautiful. I forgot that I had free camera until I was uh, in midair right there. Look at that. All the pieces from the shockwave truck went through the garage. Oh my gosh, the destruction here is gorgeous. Now, uh, in the next episode, you guys can expect that I'll be playing around with the nuke more. Uh, but I have so much more I want to show you guys. But for now... Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do leave a like, and I will see all of you guys in the next one. Goodbye!